good morning guys welcome back to life with liz if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications that way you'll be notified every time your girl posts a new video good morning guys my parents are already here we're off to a full day of appointments <laughs> It's kind of cold this morning too, but my dad has a cardiologist appointment. My mom has her first physical therapy appointment for her knees. And then i um, going to take my mom in as I walk in to her primary care doctor. So we're going to start heading out. See you guys in a bit. Hey guys. So I am back home. Took my dad in and he was cleared uh, for his procedure. Uh, and then we took my mom in as a walk-in because the pain in her back was still there. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> my poor mom. My mom has shingles. <laughs> she told me she goes, it, you know, if it's not one thing, it's another. My poor mom. So they they finally saw her, obviously. They looked. They said it's shingles. She's highly contagious. So don't know if me and my dad are gonna get shingles um my dad is the one that he said <laughs> she's been asking him to scratch her back to put the ointments on her back because she didn't know what it was so she was just like oh she needs some relief so yeah hopefully me and my dad do not get shingles so uh canceled all of her appointments uh coming up she had another appointment today but i canceled it once we found out so um I'll need to reschedule all of those for when she is done. Doctor will see her back in a week and then we'll let us know what to do from there. But for now, yeah, my poor mom. Uh, and she's been in pain and severe itching, but uh, they told her do not scratch because it will leave severe scarring. So uh, stop by the pharmacy to get her. Um, she has Benadryl at home and then... Um, I got her some lidocaine spray to kind of numb the area a little bit so that she can uh, maybe sleep uh, well because even just the seat belt was bothering her, her bra was bothering her, just leaning back on the seat was bothering her. So yeah, my poor mama. One, one more thing to add to the collection, but uh, I am home. I'm going to try just a little bit before Gabby gets here. So I'm going to try and get a little stuff done before uh, she before she comes home. So I will keep you guys updated. Hey guys. So the girls did get home, but uh, my mom is feeling worse. So <clears throat> I just called the doctor. They're going to send a prescription, another prescription over to the pharmacy so I'm gonna go pick that up for her my dad's with her right now she feels weak she's just not feeling good at all so I'm a little bit worried about her I told her let's go take you to urgent care but I called the doctor and he said that this what she's feeling right now is is normal I guess but I told her if she starts feeling worse than what she is right now I'm just gonna take her in I'll take her into the emergency room I don't want her I don't want her suffering either uh, the girls are home, but I did not want to bring them with me. I'm just going to be kind of in and out uh, of the house just to uh, drop off the, the medication. So I'm headed that way. I'll be back. Hey guys, so I am home. I took my mom medication. Um, I'm going to check on her here in a little bit. I'm just going to make dinner really quick for everyone. Um, I, thank God for leftovers. I put some chicken in the pressure cooker. That'll be done in about 35 minutes. I have uh, some mole that was frozen. So got that warming up and then some leftover rice. Oh, I don't know if I even showed you guys leftover rice. And I'm gonna warm up some tortillas and dinner is done. Delicious and I was like, I don't even know what to make. So I opened up the fridge, the freezer, I was like, here we go. <laughs> so dinner should be ready in about 35 minutes. All right, guys, dinner is served. This is Miss Gabby's plate. Yeah. And this is my plate. 
Got the tortillas over here already warmed up. Yeah, yeah. You ready? Okay. All right, Miss Gabby's gonna do a little taste test. Let's see, Miss Gabby. She's gonna start off with some chicken. Mm. You like it? Yeah. Yummy. Mm hmm. <laughs> Is it still hot? A little bit. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give this a little taste test. Get a little mole, a little chicken, a little bit of rice. I try to burn my mouth. Mmm. <laughs> so good. You like it? <coughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Just as good as the the day we made it. Art just walked in, but I think he's gonna take a shower before he eats. So. Mm -hmm. Me and Gabby are gonna finish eating. We'll be back. Hey guys, so we finished eating. Dinner was, it was too good. I am so full, I ate too much. But it was delicious, especially for being leftovers. Easy peasy, love it. But I did call and check on my mom already. She's doing a little bit better, so I'm, I'm glad with that. I'll call them again in the morning to see how they're doing and to check on her. But right now I'm gonna get Gabby uh, bathed and in her pajamas, get myself cleaned up, cause I am tired. I'm one tired lady, it was a long day. So I'm gonna get ready for bed. Good night. The next day. Good morning guys. I have been busy cleaning up. I'm about to head to the store to go get stuff that I need for dinner. I've checked on my parents already. They're doing okay. Uh, I've been on the phone as well. They called me my dad uh, to schedule my dad's surgery. So I told them about my mom having shingles. So they uh, put it out just a little further just to make sure that he doesn't have it. So uh, I'm going to head over to the store uh, to grab some stuff I need for dinner. I'll be back. Hey guys, so I'm about to get started on dinner. I'm going to be making what we call uh, shit on a shingle. <laughs> it's a crazy name, but I do not like the creamy gravy or the white gravy. I do a brown gravy with mine. Um, the kids love it. Art loves it. It's easy. I already put on um, the stuff for the mashed potatoes. So I have milk and water in here. And I'm going to be adding... Uh, some butter and salt and black pepper and I'm gonna let that warm up not completely to a boil but warm up so that um, I can stir in the, the potato flakes so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let that go for a minute and then I'll start adding whatever I need to add as I'm going. But I'm also going to get started on the ground beef. So give me just a second. All right. So I've added my ground beef into my pot. I'm going to go ahead and add some onions. Just some sliced onions. And I'm going to mix that up a bit. I'm just going to get this uh, going a little bit here. I'm also going to add some garlic. All right, and I'm just going to get that all mixed up, and I'm going to let this go ahead and start browning, and I'll be back. All right, 
so this is what our ground beef is looking like. It, I, I'm thinking it's pretty much done. I'm going to go ahead and drain it so I can add the rest of my ingredients. Alright, so let me go ahead and drain it. I'll be back. Alright, so now I've got some red wine and water in here. And I have a packet of brown gravy and a packet of au jus. So I'm going to add those in here, mix these up, and then put them into the ground beef. So I'm just going to add the packets in here. All right, and I'm just going to mix this up. and add this into the meat. All right, so to the meat, I'm gonna add a little bit of Washer Sister sauce. I'm going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning. I'm going to add the blend from uh, Kinder's. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Right. Give it a quick mix. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that gravy and au jus mixture with the wine and water. So I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let that warm back up and start thickening up a little bit and it should be ready to go. All right, and the potato mixture is ready. So I'm going to start adding my potato flakes in there. I'm just going to keep adding and mixing until I get the consistency that I want. Once I see that they start to dry up a little bit, I'll stop pouring and then just make sure that everything else is mixed in. Alright, and I think that should be good. I'm just going to wait on the meat mixture to be done and I'll start serving. All right, guys, so everything's ready. I'm going to go ahead and start serving. I start off with, usually it's a piece of Texas toast, but I completely forgot about the bread. So we're just using regular bread today. <laughs> so we take some of the mashed potatoes. All right. So we put down mashed potatoes on top of the bread. And then we get some of that ground beef with the gravy and we pour it on top. And that is SOS. <laughs> Alright, so this is Miss Gabby's plate. I'm going to go ahead and take it to her. I'll be back. Alright guys, so Miss Gabby is already eating. I was talking to my mom so I didn't get to catch the first impressions of her eating. But there she goes. She oh. really, she really liked it. Yeah, Miss Gabby. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Hmm. 
all right guys so i'm gonna give it a little taste test i was waiting for mine to cool down while i was talking to my mom just checking on her see how she's doing she's a little better today thank god Mm. it's really yummy I love that it's quick it's easy and everybody here loves it so I hadn't made it in a long time but it's really good <clears throat> like I said I like that everybody likes it it's easy it's quick got dinner ready you know really quick and while it was simmering, I washed up my dishes, got my stuff done. So um, when we're done eating, I can take Gabby a bath. And then she can just relax. Let me watch a little TV. Yeah. Yeah. Give her a chance to relax before it's bedtime. But I'm going to finish eating. I'll be back. All right, guys. So since this is a Friday video, I'm going to go ahead and make a drink for you guys. So I have pineapple juice, I've got ice, I have my shaker with ice, I have my, uh, the Smirnoff, the, spi the spicy tamarindo, I have uh, tahin, and I have some rim dip, uh, lime, and I think that's it. Oh, I have, uh, I did say pineapple juice, and I have my little, um, straws but I'm gonna start off by rimming the glass and a little bit of that rim dip all right and then going into the tahine all right then I'm gonna go ahead and add ice to the little cup here And then I'm going to add into my shaker, I'm going to add an ounce and a half of the Smirnoff. All right, I'm going to squeeze in half of a lime. in there but that's okay be nice and chill pour it into my little glass here all right and fill the rest of it up with pineapple juice Let me grab my straw. All right, give it a quick mix. And then do a little taste test. Mm, that's really good. really good and obviously obviously you can use uh, more Smirnoff if you like if you like it a little stronger <clears throat> this was good it I, I love this with the pineapple juice it's just, it's really good <laughs> and so yeah It's yummy. Make it. Happy Friday, guys. Cheers. I know I pulled out my straws and I didn't use it. I just feel like the cup was way too small for it, and that's why I didn't use it. But if it was a taller drink, a taller glass, these would be perfect. Hey, guys. So dinner was so good. Once again, I am stuffed. <laughs> 
Uh, I was able to clean up the kitchen. I got Gabby showered already. We're just relaxing. I'm editing. But um, I think I'm done for the day. I'm going to wash up as soon as I finish editing. So that does conclude today's video. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.